All right, I'm going to answer a question that was put to me. It's about color choosing or color matching in a website. So let me read the comment and I'll give you my two cents. Hello, Stefan. Thank you so much for all the amazing content you upload. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I have a question. I am trying to create a restaurant website for my friend. And of course, I am in... I am a new graduate from a programming institute and I'm trying to create stuff to fill my portfolio. My question is when I try to pick the main colors for my website, for example, this restaurant website, I don't know what colors I can mix to get the best look possible for the client and website visitors. I know it has something related to UX UI. I hope you can make a video on that. Good question. Once again, it comes down to fundamentals. So, if you do a search online, color palette chooser, Adobe color mixer, I forget the, what the uh, site page is called, but there are sites where you can plug in a color and it will give you the palette of colors that go with it if you don't have that eye. So yes, you're right, certain colors clash, certain colors go well together. Uh, colors also have psychological uh, impact on people. So blues and greens are calming. Uh, red is, is the opposite of calming. For whatever reasons, that's just the way our brains are designed. Well, the reason we have particular psychological default emotional reactions to certain colors, probably due to evolution, where if you saw a certain color, it may have represented a predator or not a predator, et cetera, et cetera. There's always, there's always an evolutionary reason for things. So look online. I think there's something called Adobe Cooler. It just sprung to mind. And that might be the place to go to uh, be able to select a color palette that works well together. Now, when choosing a color, consider the industry that you're in. So for example, if you had a nightclub website, you'd probably want to choose uh, darker colors, right? Night, night, night life, neon reds and blues and black. But if you're doing a restaurant, if you look at like Olive Garden, they use natural earth, earthy colors, browns and pastel greens and, you know, reminds you of nature. So you want to look at uh, the industry that you're working within in terms of the subject of the site. And uh, from there, you can then choose a color palette accordingly, like going to one of those websites. So let's say your friend's restaurant, their main logo is a green. So you sample that green color, which your color picker, and then you go to like Adobe, I think it's called Cooler, but whatever it's called, a site that allows you to choose color palettes. You put in this primary color and it will give you the palette in which you can work upon. But Beyond that, you can use just use a little common sense. Like I said, look at the category: nightclubs, dark colors, you know, nightclub, nightclubby colors, the neons, the reds, uh, the black. Uh, restaurants, depending on the type of food, you know, the seafood it might be oceanic colors, blues and greens, etc. You get the idea. So that's how you would do that. Color choice is very important. Be sure that you select your color palette. Uh, in the early stages of the design process. Same thing with fonts. Fonts also convey a certain meaning or message. I try to choose techie fonts that have a bit of class rather than a font that you might use on a horror website or something. You get the idea. A little side note, I just read something, recent study coming out of MIT. Apparently, coronavirus can hang in the air for quite a while, 15, 20 minutes or something. I forget the exact number, hold on. Anyway, point is it can hang in the air, not just hang on surfaces for a while, which surprised me. So somebody coughs in the elevator, these little microscopic, I don't know what the term is, these little droplets of filled with corona bugs could be floating around in the elevator. So uh, that being said, uh, social distancing, they're saying, the scientists are saying social distancing may not be enough uh, especially in areas where like an elevator where you would have stagnant air. If you live in the countryside and, you know, by the ocean, it's windy and stuff, then it would blow away, but then it might blow the virus right into your face. So that would suggest to me that maybe you should spend even more time inside than going outside. Now I go out and I get a coffee and I stay away from everybody. I never meet anybody because I go early morning, there's nobody around. 
hardly anybody. I wear gloves. I got my Corona gloves. I wear even now my Corona scarf like this. So I protect myself, can't get a mask. And even that, I'm thinking to myself, eh, uh, I'm gonna have to reduce that now given the new data that has come out. One thing you learn as an entrepreneur and as an experienced ring fighter, if you've done any ring fighting, uh, not that I was a professional fighter, but I've done a lot of sparring in the ring. You gotta learn to adapt basically based on what's coming at you. So when you're in business, you may have to pivot, like they say in the, um, in the, uh, venture, in the venture world, the venture capital world, the startup world, there we go. In the startup world, companies pivot all the time, meaning they change, they have a product idea, they, they run with it, and if it doesn't work, they move to another product, they move to another variation of product, another variation of product. And a lot of times they're constantly, not, all, not a lot of the times, many times they're pivoting quite a bit. Uh, you even hear like Zuckerberg talk about, his original conception of Facebook is very different from what it ended up being. I have friends of mine, one of, the, one of the founders, co-founders, former student of mine in Studio Web. I watched them over five, six years pivot like crazy, like crazy. Their original product idea is totally different from where they are now. And they just raised another, they just raised, I think, $7 million. One of their, just, just in the last couple of months, and one of their investors at Google. So now what they're doing, that's why a lot of, uh, a lot of venture capitalists, they, they invest in the individuals as much as they invest in the uh, product, because at the end of the day, they know from experience, any business ex any business person with you know, experience knows that you have to pivot quite a bit. Anyhow, um, why did I get down this whole path about the, uh, yeah, adjusting based on data that comes to you. So don't be married to an idea, don't be married to a tech, don't be married to a preconception. Let the data tell you where to go. So now, apparently coronavirus can hang in the air. Chances are more likely that you can catch it even if somebody coughed in a, in a room and 20 minutes later you show up, right? So keep that in mind. Probably wanna stay in it even more often if you're going out as much and you may wanna consider the corona mask. I'm not a religious person, but a lot of these religious um, edicts, if you will, or laws, a lot of times I think they were just based on, it's my speculation, just based on things they observe. For example, fasting. We all know now that fasting is actually very good for your health. And guess what? Many, if not most, of the major religions out there all talk about fasting and how you fast. They don't necessarily say it's good for you, but they say, you know, that's what God wants. But that's how they used to do things back in the day. You know, they wanted people to do something. They say, God wants you to do it, so you do it. So they probably figured out, my guess, that they said, you know, fasting is pretty good. Pretty good. People fasting to be uh, live longer, have less diseases, etc. So they always say, "Hey, God says you got to fast," so they do that. And uh, you know, you think about uh, uh, the religions that require covers. Yeah, in these situations with a pandemic, you know, obviously covering your nose and your face is probably uh, helpful. Well, it is helpful. That's why people wear masks. So perhaps, perhaps back in the day when a particular religions had people cover themselves like that. Maybe the religions were founded at a time when there were pandemics or there was a pandemic. And maybe they, they saw through observation that people who covered their face were just in better shape. Just, um, uh, just an observation on my part, but it's an interesting thing. Anyway, so there you go, I've answered that question. Yeah, colors are very important in, uh, in design and develop UI UX whether you're doing websites or uh, mobile apps, native in Android or iOS. And uh, color matching is very important, but also consider the psychology of the color and also consider the subject uh, matter of the site. If you're developing a website for a nightclub, you're gonna have a different set of colors than if you're developing a website for, uh, I don't know, an oceanside villa or maybe a seafood restaurant. You get the idea. All right, that's it. Take care of yourselves. Bye.